graders. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about opinion writing, specifically speeches, and I'm doing it from my kitchen floor. So I have some posters up here and I have a little thing on my whiteboard here. So let's start with these posters. Up at the very top, I see how to write a persuasive speech. Hey world, listen up is what it says at the bottom there. So what we're going to be working on today is learning how to start writing persuasive speeches. And that, that sounds like a really scary thing, but it's super easy. So a, persu a persuasive speech is something that you write and you, so a speech is something that you speak, but it needs to be written down first. So you write um, a speech and one of the biggest things that you need to do when you make a speech is write a thesis statement. The thesis statement is the star of a persuasive speech, okay? So right here we see write a thesis, and then we see check that your thesis is brave and bold. So that's what we're gonna be working on, okay? So I wrote something right here for you too. So a thesis statement is basically your opinion explained in one sentence. A thesis statement is really only one sentence. So that is your opinion. So I have some props right here to give you an example. One example of a thesis statement is, bananas are the best fruit in the world. Another example of a thesis statement are, is, pineapples are the worst fruit in the world. Okay, so as you can see, you can write a speech about just about anything. It does not need to be something super serious. It can actually be something super silly like talking about bananas and pineapples, okay? So, your thesis statement, like I said, is one sentence and it explains your opinion. Now, one thing that's really important about a thesis statement is that it is brave and bold. So, let's think about what that means for a second. What if I told you that my thesis statement for my persuasive speech is bananas are sort of good? That's not very brave. It's not really bold. And it doesn't make me want to believe you. If you say something that's wishy-washy, it's not going to help your persuasive speech be very strong. Instead, you want something really, really strong, like a clear opinion. Some other ones that um, students really like to write about or are about animals. What animals are their favorite? What fruits are their favorite? And we're going to be talking more about how to gather more ideas for speeches in the future. But just for today, I want to be focused on thesis statements and writing lots of different ones. Okay, so now you can see that I've written down my thesis statement. Bananas are the best fruit ever. So now that I have a thesis statement down, do you think that's it? Is it might have I convinced you that bananas are the best fruit ever? I don't think so. What you need now is you need to come up with three reasons. I always say three is the magic number when it comes to writing. Three reasons helps your reader to understand what you're talking about better, and it helps um, to convince them that your thesis statement is true. So I'm actually going to go like this. One, two, three. Now this is going to help me organize my writing a little bit. This is not a published piece of writing. This is just an outline to help me write in the future, okay? So I have bananas are the best fruit ever. And then one, two, three. I need to come up with now three reasons why I think that's true. And if I really believed in my thesis statement, three reasons should be pretty easy. If you're really struggling to come up with three reasons, maybe you need to change your thesis statement a little bit. If you can't come up with three, um, it's going to be kind of difficult to write, okay? So let's see. Bananas are the best fruit ever um, because they're sweet. Like I said, this is just a draft, so it doesn't need to be perfect, and they can just be short sentences like this. You don't want to write a whole paragraph for your outline. So they're sweet. They can be used for bread. Banana bread's delicious. And finally, they are easy to eat. So 
And like I said, I showed you my, my props here. You can see my pineapple poking up a little bit. So maybe in my th final one, when I start writing an actual paragraph, I can talk a little bit about the pineapple. Is this really that easy to eat? Not like this, it isn't. So I'm going to say that bananas are the best because they're so easy to eat. All you have to do is just break it open and peel it. Okay. So now that you have an idea of what to do for an outline, I want you to make one. Okay. So think about a thesis statement. Try not to do bananas because I already did that. Try something a little bit different. Try something that you really believe in and then come up with three reasons. Put that on Google Docs or write it on a paper. Send a picture or share the Google Doc with your teacher and you're all set for today.